dear Orwell, it's been some time since I dedicated my story I wrote to you. The story of boy genius Eric Torino and his troubles. I've not been in contact with you for at least three years. And for every moment that I don't see you, I get more and more impatient to see you again. And I know, of course, why this is what it is. And of course, being me, I can't be angry at you, because it's my fault. When I first wrote the story, it came from a dark place, from a dark time. As you know, I was at the academy trying to study for my second year. As you have read from my notes, I've described the academy as being like a 16th century prison. It was dull, it was so unbelievably dull, and I hated it. And by God did I hate it. I tried to escape many times, and by God did I try. You were the only person who understood what was happening, and I felt that there was something good coming from my misery. But that was before I sent you my story. I swear by this day when I wrote the story, I had good intentions, and I realized that the reception it had from you, and unfortunately your parents, was extremely sour, and it did pretty much end our relationship between the both of us, and I'm sorry I did that. But my longing to see you once again made my life worse, to the point that it is unbearable. Yesterday, I realized that to see you again was to be impossible. I decided that there is one, only one way out in this world. I think it is for the best. Please understand when I say this, but when I'm gone, move on. And forget about me. Your life is already perfect without me when I'm gone. I bet that your life won't even change if I'm gone or still here. I'll always remember you as one of the best people I knew. And I'm glad I enjoyed it before the bitter end. Yours dearly, Craig. P.S. If you see something at Valentine's, you'll, you'll soon understand. I love you. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm
goes to baking the bread, just like I know you could. I cannot bake perfectly, you know I wish I could. I want some life for movement, still just can't find the whisk. We just got onions and artichokes, but we still got flour to sieve. We have onions, onions, artichokes, onions, onions, artichokes, onions, onions, artichokes, onions don't beat the whisk. Lay, 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 lay. Lay, 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 Onions don't fit the whisk. We have so much in the pot. The carrots are all mine. You say that they are all gone. I'm pretty sure I'm right. What's your fat supplements? We have a loaf to save. We've just got onions and artichokes. But we still got flour to save. The onions, onions, artichokes. Onions, onions, artichokes. Onions, onions, artichokes. Onions don't fit the whisk. Lay, 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 I want some right at the moment. Still just can't fight the whisk. <coughs> we just got onions and artichokes. We still got flour to see if we have onions. Onions, artichokes. Onions, onions, artichokes. Onions, onions, artichokes. Onions, don't eat the whisk. Lay, 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 subscribe. I'll always remember you as one of the best people I knew, and I'm glad I enjoyed it before the bitter end. Yours dearly, Craig. P.S. If you see something at Valentine's, you'll, you will soon understand. I love you, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry.